all right dear students the topic that we are going to discuss today is depreciation now what is depreciation whenever we buy a non current asset and whenever we use that non current asset there are numerous examples of non current asset there can be building it can be a machinery it can be furniture it can be a piece of equipment computers these are all non current assets so any asset that have have been bought for use in the business and the assets that have life of more than 1 year so therefore it is a, a non current asset okay whenever we use that non current asset and because of the use of that non current asset the asset reduces its value okay so the reduction in the value of a non current asset refers to as depreciation now basically there are three methods in the examination to calculate depreciation and we'll be discussing two of that right now one is straight line method straight line and another one is reducing balance method also known as diminishing balance method now what is the difference between the two inshallah we'll be discussing it with the help of an example now this is one of the question and this is my own question with the name of ard textiles ard textiles started its operations on january 2013 this means it's a new business and it was not in existence in the year 2012 or any earlier year its transaction relating to non current assets are, are as follows and now as you can see in the first year uh, after one month that is on 1st february we have bought a machine for 100000 then on 1st august 2014 we have bought two machines each at a cost of 35 if one of them is costing 35 then the two of the them two of them would have cost 70000 to ard textiles okay we have bought it on credit and therefore the name of the supplier is given that is honda limited now as you can see in 2015 we did nothing we have not bought any new new machine in 2015 and what happened in 2016 we have sold the machine which was bought in 2013 for 40000 okay so the machine that we actually bought for 100000 in 2013 we sold it for 40000 in 2016 okay so in this question we have to chart depreciation and the rate that we is we are going to apply is 15% straight line now my dear students uh, we studied there are two methods of depreciation one is straight line and one is reducing and there's another method that we'll be covering in the later lessons and that is revaluation method but right now we are concerned with straight line and reducing so basically there are two main methods one is straight line also known as cost method and then the another one is reducing or diminishing balance method now both of these methods can be applied but there are two basically policies for charging depreciation now the method is something else and the policy to charge depreciation is something or else altogether okay now uh, as you can see this note full year depreciation is charged in the year of purchase but no depreciation in the year of disposal now my dear students uh, there are two policies to charge a depreciation one is full year policy and another one is month wise policy now what is the difference between the two in the full year policy we, we are not concerned with the actual date on which the asset has been bought okay we are not concerned with the actual date in a month wise policy uh we just need to see one thing that if the asset is present at the end of the year or it's not if the asset is present we do not need to worry about that when actually we bought this asset either we bought the asset on 1st january or either we bought the asset on 1st july or maybe 1st december we have just used for one month but if the full year policy is being applied we need to charge the depreciation for entire year no matter whether we have used the asset for 12 months or 6 months or maybe 1 month or maybe we have just bought the asset 2 or 3 years prior to the end of the year okay in a full year policy we are not concerned about the months we need to apply full year depreciation the year of purchase and in the same way we are not going to apply any depreciation the year of disposal and now this means that if we have sold the asset in the current year let us 2013 so uh, maybe we have used the asset for the entire year but prior to year end uh, if the year is ending on december 31st we have sold the asset on 30th december 
okay only one day was left in the year end and we sold the asset and if we have done this though so no depreciation needs to be charged in the year of disposal okay so this is the full year policy and the, there is another policy and that is month wise policy so we'll be covering it in the later uh, videos and in the month wise policy we need to charge depreciation for the number of months the asset is being actually used okay but in this question the examiner clearly states it's a full year policy okay so what we need to do we need to apply a full year policy and straight line method of 15 percent now let us see how let us see how we can calculate the depreciation this question uh, now it's a depreciation calculation and we are applying straight line uh, now the first year in the question is 2013 in 2013 as you can see the business we have just started and we do not have any machine we have just purchased one machine that is 100,000 okay so the cost of the machine is 100,000 now as you can see the year is starting on January we have started the business on January and as the question does not mention uh, we always assume that year is ending on December unless the examiner states that year is starting some other date or it's ending on some other date so the default date is January to December okay now as you can see we haven't bought the asset on 1st January instead we have bought it on 1st February now actually we have just used the asset for 11 months but we are going to apply the depreciation for entire 12 months why because the question here clearly says that it is a full year policy okay so what we need to do we need to apply 15 percent on 100,000 and the 100,000 15 percent is 15,000 okay so this is the depreciation for the first year now let us move to the next year there is 2014 in 2014 now as you can see uh, uh basically in 2014 we have bought two new machines and one of the machine cost 35 therefore the two machines are uh, cost altogether 70,000 okay so we are aware that we have bought new machine worth 70,000 but what about the old machine have we sold the machine yet no we haven't sold the machine in 2014 instead we have sold the machine in 2016 okay now as you can see in 2014 we have basically three machines all together we have the previous machine that we uh, bought actually in 2013 uh, and we have bought two further machines in august and which cost altogether 70000 now if we are applying straight line policy and it's a full year uh, policy in a straight line now rather than calculating depreciation for each machine separately it would be easier for us to add all of the machines all together and then to apply depreciation uh, on the lump sum amount okay now as you can see the old machine was worth 100,000 that the cost was 100,000 and the new two machines that we have bought was worth 70,000 if we add up both three of these the total would become 170 okay so what we need to do we need to apply 15 percent on 170 and this would become 25,500 in 2014 okay so the third year that we have is 2015 now as you can see in 2015 we did nothing maybe this was the covid period for ard textiles okay so in 2015 we did nothing but uh, as you can see we already have these three machines why i'm uh, saying three because these were two machines okay worth 70,000. so what we need to do in a straight line if we haven't bought any new machine and if we haven't sold any earlier machine so the depreciation would remains the same okay in 2013 there was only one machine in 2014 and 15 there were basically three machines so the depreciation would remain same in a straight line unless we have bought some new machines and unless we have sold some existing machine now let us see what ha will happen in 2016 now as you can see in 2016 we have sold the machine uh, which machine that we have sold we have sold the machine that was actually bought in 13 okay so we do not we no longer have the hundred thousand machine now we are only left with these machines that were worth seventy thousand okay so in 2016 we are only going to depreciate the machines that were costed seventy thousand okay now this time we are going to apply fifteen percent on seventy thousand in order to get the depreciation that is ten thousand five hundred so this was basically depreciation uh, using straight line method okay 
so now we need to learn the concepts of reducing balance method also known as diminishing balance method now dear students in a straight line method so the depreciation remains the same every year unless we buy some new assets or we sell some existing one but in a reducing balance method the depreciation would keep on reducing and how is this basically happening now uh, it's better if we are applying reducing balance method it's better to calculate a uh, depreciation separately now uh, we have basically uh, three machines first machine i named this first machine as machine a although it would be written in the examination question the name of the machine or an asset then the two machines that i have bought from honda limited i have given the name machine b and c so uh, the third column that we need to make is a total column so this was basically the 100000 machine that we have bought in 13 and these are basically two machines uh, worth 35000 each and the total depreciation uh, for which i made another column now as you can see in the first year we have bought machine that is 2013 machine that is 100000 okay now the question here mentions now resolve the question again if depreciation policy would have been 20% reducing balance okay so now what we need to do we need to apply 20% rbm uh, short form uh, uh, we use rbm reducing balance method okay rbm so in a rbm method reducing balance method uh, now see in the first year either we are using a straight line or either we are using a reducing balance method so the calculation is the same so what we need to do instead of applying 15% uh, that we did in a straight line we need to apply 20% here because the examination uh, question here mentions 20% so in the first year we have already one machine only one machine that is machine A we need to apply 20% on 100,000 in order to get this 20,000 now as you can see there is only one machine so the total depreciation that we do have in 2013 is 20,000 now what happens in the second year in the second year the story basically changes okay so the machine that actually costed ART textiles 100,000 got depreciated by 20,000 in the first year. Now what we need to do for applying before uh, calculating depreciation for second year, we need to calculate one new thing and that is known as NBV net book value. What is the net book value? If we uh, deduct all of the depreciation from the original cost, the value that is left over, it is known as a NBV net book value. Now, as you can see, the machine that was originally cost the business 100,000 uh, has already been depreciated by 20,000. And what we need to do, we need to calculate this NBV. NBV stands for net book value. And uh, if you can see uh, in 2014, that is second year, we have already bought one, uh, two more machines worth 70,000. Okay. So basically, we have one machine that is now worth 80,000 and we have uh, all, all, all also bought new machines worth 70,000 so we are doing a uh, calculation separately for both of them so in the second year again we need to apply 20 percent but this time instead of applying 20 percent to the original cost that is 100,000 we need to apply 20 percent to this amount that is 80,000 okay if we need to apply 20 percent to 80,000 the depreciation is 16,000 and what about the machine B and C? Uh, we need to apply 20% again. Uh, and in this case, we are going to apply 20% of the original cost. Why? Because machine B and C, this is the first year for machine B and C. That is 2014. We do not have this machine in 2013. So we need to apply 20% directly on the original cost in the first year. Now uh, we need to add these two depreciations, 16 and 14, in order to get the total depreciation that is 30,000. Okay. Now what happens in the third year? Now this machine uh, already had a net book value of 80,000 remaining value. What we need to do, we need to deduct this year depreciation as well in order to get the up to date net book value and the up to date net book value is 64,000. This means after using for two consecutive years, the machine A is only uh, had a remaining value of 64,000. In our books, it is known as a net book value, also known as a carrying value or written down value. And the machine B is now uh, book had a book value of 56,000. Okay, these are basically both of the book values. Now, as you can see in 2015, we have not 
uh, bought any new machines, neither do we have sold any earlier machines. Okay, in 2015, there was a basically a gap year. We didn't uh, haven't done any transactions in non-current assets. So what we need to do again, we need to apply 20% to the up-to-date network value that is 64,000. If I apply 20% to the 64,000, this is 12,800. And then if I apply 20% to this 56,000, we have a depreciation of 11,200. Now, if we add up both of these, we are left with book value. Uh, sorry, if we add up both of these, uh, the total depreciation for the third year is 24,000. Now, and lastly, what we need to do, we need to calculate uh, up to date MBV again. Now, after deducting uh, further 12,800 from the previous year MBV, so the updated NBV is 51200 for machine A and 44800 for machine B and C. Okay. Now, as you can see, in 2016, that is in the last year, we have sold the machine uh, that was uh, 2013 machine. Okay. So the big bigger machine that actually cost us 100,000, we sold the machine in 2016. Now, as you can see in a full year policy that the machine that we have sold in this year, we no longer need to charge depreciation this year because we have sold the machine in this year. So we are not going to do any other working in machine A, but in a machine B and C, we are still going to depreciate it by uh, what amount by 20%. Okay. So in last year, I need to apply 20% to this up to date NBV of 44,800 and this becomes 8960. Now, as you can see, uh, I no longer own the machine A. So, therefore, I no, do not need to depreciate this machine A. Okay. So, whoever has purchased this from me uh, needs to worry about the depreciation now. Okay. So, this is the total depreciation and this will always uh, also come on the total column. Okay. Now, these are the important values for me. In the first year, I have depreciation of 20,000 only for machine A. In the second year, I have all three machines A, B and C. In the third year also I have all three machines and in the last year I have sold machine A and I have only uh, I am left with machine B and C and this is the total depreciation for machine B and C. So I hope my dear students you are able to understand the underlying concepts of straight line and reducing balance uh, using the full year policy. Inshallah we will be doing some other questions in later uh, lessons.